What's up? Good morning vlog. Currently at 9 30 in the morning. I just made breakfast. I just made like eggs and toast and I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. Then we're going to do a workout today. I really want to do like the Daisy Keach. Is that how you pronounce her name? Daisy Keach. I really want to do one of her workouts because like people always say like oh my god you get the hourglass figure and girl I want that so that's what I'm gonna do after breakfast I'm really excited I think I've tried some of her workouts before we're like super fun and like easy but like made you work hard I don't know um if you guys don't know who she is you can look her up on YouTube or on Instagram she's kind of known for having like a crazy beautiful body so she has workouts on youtube and there's tons of people who have actually like filmed their process and it's actually really good kind of seems really gloomy outside but if you live on the east coast you know that weather changes from sunny to rainy and rainy to sunny in like two seconds and right now it looks really gloomy but i can see that the sun is gonna shine so hopefully we have a nice summer day today so i'm gonna go ahead and eat my breakfast and then we'll go work out together okay you guys let's do this workout i kind of low-key have been procrastinating it's now like almost 11 o'clock let's go ahead and do this workout life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before okay you guys so I just finished the workout it was actually really good one was like abs the second one was like hourglass look like you want your body to look like an hourglass and the third one was um like a bubble butt one sorry i gotta drink some water so those were really good workouts and then after that i kind of just did like my own thing i did a couple more ab exercises if it's a workout that's not really like cardio ish like those videos that you posted are really good because one they're for like beginners so like if you aren't used to working out like they're just really good they don't make you out of breath like they're just really good exercises and i think they're really awesome but i like to finish my workouts with a little bit of cardio so i did 100 jumping jacks at the end of my workout so i do 50 rest for a minute and then 50 again and yeah and now i'm done that's why i'm out of breath in the clips you'll see that i kind of fast forward it a little bit didn't show all the exercises she did and that's because like that is her content so go over to her channel and check out I think it's like Daisy Keach is her channel um go check out those workouts because they're literally so good she really popped off during quarantine because people wanted to like work out and like those videos that she posted have like 27 million views like it's insane so they're really good workouts and you guys should definitely go check it out now I'm going to kind of like get ready for the day the only thing is is i'm sweating beyond belief but i don't want to take a shower yet because i want to tan tonight and i like to have like a shower before i tan because just want to scrub off the dead skin shave do the whole tanning routine <laughs> so we're gonna do that later but for now i'm just gonna quickly maybe put some makeup on and get ready Make myself look a little more pretty for you, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to go do that right now. Walk runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome to. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around. And then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not going to wake up, wake up. I literally hate leaving my bathroom because the lighting is so good but what I did is I just straightened my hair and I put some makeup on to look a little bit better for y'all and I think we're gonna actually head out we're gonna go for a little drive a little chit chat and drive it is currently 12 o'clock and honestly like I want some sushi like should we get sushi yeah yeah we should also you guys this is my outfit the shirt i got from zara if you guys follow me on instagram you've probably already seen it and then i got these shorts from like blue notes 
and they're just like super cute so that's the fit let's give sushi a call Hi, can I place an order for a pickup? Um, can I have one California roll and one dynamite roll? No problem. Okay. Yeah, I'll make a fresh for you. Okay, thank you so much. Welcome. Welcome, my person. Oh my god, she's so cute. Okay, you guys, so I just got to the lookout. I'm gonna eat my sushi with you guys and we're just gonna like chit chat. I'll show you guys what the view looks like now that it's not super like foggy like it was before it's so pretty i want to park closer but there's a car there but it looks like they're leaving but a lot of cars like to park there so i'm just i'm just gonna stay where i'm at but i'll show you guys the view that is the ocean and it is like so pretty i feel like people don't realize like how lucky they are to like live in the places they live like I always think that like where I live is like small and like not a lot of people want to come here which is probably true. I love like how I live around ocean like I think that's kind of iconic. I'm really excited to eat this. I literally just got like a California roll and a dynamite roll and we're just going to enjoy it in the sun. So I want to talk about summer bucket list ideas or things that I want to do this summer. I am literally so excited. Okay, literally the surfers are coming. So I know people are coming here. A lot of people like to walk down here and surf, which I think is so cool. I would love to surf. That could be a summer bucket list idea, but I would love to learn how. I have a list on my phone of my summer bucket list and things that I want to achieve this summer. So I'm gonna read them to you, but first let me have a bite of this sush. It's actually super hot out today. Just take another bite and then I can talk, I swear, I promise. Okay, so some things that I have on my bucket list. Let's get to it. A lot of these things that I want to do is basically because I didn't get to do them last year. I didn't have time to do it last year. When this year, I'm prioritizing having fun because I want to have a bomb summer. So number one is go to the beach like literally once a week or like I want to go to the beach more often than I usually do because I am lucky enough to live close to a beach and girl I need to take advantage of that and I always feel like I'm like oh well I have to wait for a friend to be available one girl you can go by yourself I'm definitely going to go to the beach more I also want to do more road trips like I want to go on like little trips around where I live I feel like that would be super fun to go on road trips with my friends. I probably say this in like every single vlog, but I wish my sister lived so much closer to me because she would do all these things with me. So it is what it is, but yeah, I would love to do like a road trip to like a little town around where I live. Another pl thing that I wanna do is play more tennis. Now that is strictly like for me. If you guys like a sport or have passion for a sport or something, just do more of it. Like. I recently started getting into tennis, I'm not going to lie. I am not the best, but do I want to be the best? Not necessarily, but I just love playing it. I think it's so fun. It's a great cardio burst, and I just... Oh my god, sorry. I thought these people were naked. I just want to do more of it because I love playing it. It's such a good workout, and it's just so, so much fun. So I just want to do more things that I love to do. Now, this one's kind of crazy because obviously, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm a wimp, but I kind of want to get my first tattoo. I want to do a lot of, like, first things this year, and I feel like getting my first tattoo would be so iconic. I kind of know what I want. I'm not going to tell it until I get it because I'm definitely going to vlog getting my first tattoo. I just, uh, I'm just so scared because I am such a wimp when it comes to pain. Like, if you know me, I don't handle pain well. I hate it so much. How people have, like, millions of tattoos, like, you go girl, I just could never, but I would love to have one. I feel like that's just a really good, like, first experience, and if I don't like it, obviously, I'm not gonna get another one, but I just would love to have at least one. I want to go to new restaurants that I've never been before. A lot of the time, me and my friends go to the same basic food chains, and I want to go to the, like, unique restaurants. Um, me and my friend are actually going to go in a couple weeks to this really cute, I think it's, like, Spain-inspired restaurant, but I would love to do that more often or go out for brunch with my friends. 
drinks and brunch I just feel like that would be so much fun so yeah I just want to like experience more food more drinks go out to more restaurants yeah and I just want to like explore new things next I have go on a helicopter now I've been on a helicopter before but I would love to go again but I'd love to just go on a helicopter and go around the city I just feel like that would be so fun especially with my friends like I just feel like that would be such a cool experience I kind of looked it up and I did see that they do do that around where I live and I just think that would be so pretty to like go on a helicopter ride and see the ocean and yeah I just think that would be so pretty y'all I'm sweating I've never gone kayaking before, but I feel like it'd be so cute and fun, and I know a place where they do it, so I would love to learn how, or just, like, it's so peaceful, like, being on, like, a little river in a kayak. I don't think I could do it in the ocean because the waves are too crazy. I feel like that would be, like, so fun to do. I mentioned before I would love to surf. I see these girls doing it, and I'm like, get in your wetsuits, girl, and go do that surfing shit because... I think that's so cool where I live there has been reported of a lot of sharks though so I'm a little nervy I just think that would be so cool just to learn how to surf and I just feel like cool girls surf you know and I want to be a cool girl I want to do like a drive-in a drive-in movie I've been to one before but I would love to go with like my friends when I went it was like with my family and it was really cool and I don't know if I have any around me but they're just like super like old old school kind of I just love the like old school moment so that's why I kind of want to go and like you can just I don't know it's just so cool you go in your car and you put the radio on and then you just watch the movie and have little snacks and I think that's like so cute and like retro and I would love to do that this one is very like I'm a daredevil bitch I want to go skydiving like I think that's crazy I think that's absolutely insane that I want to go skydiving but I think that'd be so cool just to experience it and be like oh my god I've skydived and like seeing like everything and jumping out of a plane like that's just so crazy and I love that idea Next is berry picking. I think that is so cute. I feel like fall is such like an apple picking moment. Okay, I need to put my air conditioning on. And I would love to do like the berries in the summertime. I think that's so cute. I've also seen on Pinterest. I know I'm like obsessed with Pinterest, guys. Like you don't need to tell me. But I've just seen a little pictures of like girls going on berry picking. And I'm like, okay, like that's so cute. Like that's such a cute picture also berries are delicious and good for you and like i don't know just actually being able to pick them would be so cute now these are kind of like personal goals not necessarily like summer bucket lists number one is i want to take more pictures wherever i go i want to take more pictures whenever i'm with my friends take more pictures alone take more pictures and i just I just want to take more pictures I feel like I don't do it enough and I want to remember these moments that I have and yeah I just I would love to take more pictures and like remind myself to take more pictures because I've been such a girl that was like live in the moment like don't take photos live in the moment but now I'm like girl I want to remember the moment if I don't and yeah so that's just something I want to do. I've mentioned this in a couple of vlogs is I want to spend more time alone. Like enjoying my own company, being able to like do things on my own and not being like, oh my God, like is somebody going to think I'm like weird eating alone? Is somebody going to, oh my God, somebody's watching. Like I don't want to be that bitch. Like I want to be a cool girl and I want to do whatever I want. I want to be confident and comfortable enough to do that and I should because there's literally nothing wrong with that. I feel like I want to do so much more this summer and I want to do so many more fun things. And in my mind, I'm always like, oh, well, my friends are all working. My boyfriend's working. Like, I have nobody to go with. But why don't I just go alone? That is one of my goals is to do more things alone. I also want to read more now that I am out of school and it's summertime. I don't get that option when I'm in school because I have to like read notes all the time and I just don't want to read a book at the end of the day, you know? But now I feel like I have four books that I want to read and I just want to like, 
actually read them especially since I've had them for a couple years now and I haven't gotten through any of them so yeah that's something that I just want to do is read more I also want to go on more walks like everybody talks about hot girl hikes hot girl walks and literally that's what it is listen to a podcast girl and go on more walks it really will change like your mental state I feel like it just helps me a lot I do not walk when it's hot okay I walk at night or like evening where the sun's setting because it's way too hot in the daytime to be walking love to like work out that day and do a 4k walk every single day I think that would be just I would I would look so good and I would just feel so good like mentally physically and yeah so that's just another thing I'd love to do other thing that I want to do is say yes to more things like I'm always like lazy and I'm like I don't want to do this every single time someone says let's do this every single time someone says let's do that I'm gonna say yes build memories I feel like always say yes to things never say no I feel like it will make a difference. I want to make more recipes. Whether they're good or bad, I want to make more recipes. I want to cook more. I'm so sick and tired of going out and eating. Okay, I know I'm eating sushi. I know. But I'm so sick and tired of, like, getting burgers or, like, gross food. When I can be at home making, like, home-cooked amazing recipes. And I could be, like, a housewife. Like, I love that. And I would just love to do it more. I feel like a lot of the things that I do now, I'm just, like, super passionate about. So I'm gonna make more recipes. And I would love to film them, like... In my daily vlogs, I'll totally like show you guys what I'm making so maybe you guys can do more recipes too. A lot of my recipes I save on my Pinterest so you know. Yeah. <coughs> oh my god. I started choking. So go ahead and check my Pinterest out. Also, I probably will post it on Instagram as well. So go follow me on Instagram right here. I want to work harder on my health. So I want to work out more. I want to eat healthier. I think like bettering yourself is so fun and that's how I see it like I'm not like ugh, I have to work out like this is so hard I see it, it like oh my god I'm gonna better myself and you will never regret not working out so just do it girl and last but not least on my bucket list is I want to improve my self-confidence now right now there was a man that's staring at me and I'm gonna keep filming I'm not gonna stop because someone's watching me I feel like it's so easy to like look at yourself in the mirror and say awful things to yourself and I just want to stop doing that I want to look in the mirror and say like you look amazing you look beautiful I'm gonna stop saying negative things about myself and just say nice things about myself because I feel like that will like manifest something and like also make me feel better about myself. So those are all the things that I have on my bucket list. I can totally find so many more girls. Some girls actually post YouTube videos specifically for summer bucket list ideas. So if you guys want to go check those out. I'm going to finish my sushi that I barely ate because I was talking too goddamn much. And then I'm going to go home. And I'm going to, oh, I'm going to tan tonight. You guys, I'm going to tan tonight. I'm going to show you guys my tanning routine. So fun. I love tanning because I'm so pale and I feel like tanning makes you look skinny. Like, I don't know about y'all, but tanning definitely makes me look 10 times skinnier than I am. <laughs> and I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. I just love tanning and I'll definitely show you guys my tanning routine. Okay, so you guys, I literally just got home, took a shower. So... <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys my tanning routine. So first of all, I go into the shower and I do everything I need to do to prep for tanning. So that means shave legs, shave armpits, everything like that. Anything that you want to shave off so that your skin looks more smooth. And then you're gonna go in with a lotion. So that could be like a cream. It really doesn't matter what cream it is. I use Nivea, really good cream. By the way, when I'm in the shower, I shave and I scrub my body head to toe. So I have my face scrub that I scrub my face and then I have a different scrub that I scrub my body so that all the dead skin or any leftover tanner is off my body. And then I lotion up and so that my skin is all hydrated. And then I'll show you guys what I do to tan. So usually I buy whatever mitt. You can use any type of mitt that you want from any brand. Usually I buy it from St. Tropez, but my mitt was kind of getting gross, so I had to check it out. I just picked up whatever mitt they had. So they had one by St. Moritz, which I don't know if it's like a, 
It's probably just a different brand. I've never seen it. I haven't used this one before, but this is like, it's velvet and I like the like soft feeling. And then the tanner that I use is this Jergens Natural Glow Instant Tan. And I have it in the light bronzed one only because if I had the dark bronze, I would look absolutely crazy. And then my mom actually got me this. I don't know where she got it from, but it's from CB Coco Brown. And I don't know, it says Miracle Mist Tanning Water in the shade Medium. So this I just use for my face. If I'm being honest, I'm not really particular with what I use on my face. Just because I wash my face every day, chances are the tanner is going to go away. <laughs> so I just care about what goes on my body. This is an amazing tanner, especially if you're like on a budget. The, this is a really good tanner that you buy at Walmart. Most of the products I use for tanning, and again, like head to toe, I use my tanning mitt and I just wipe it everywhere. So let's begin. You can see that there's a difference in my actual skin color and the tanner. It gives you that like minimum tint, but then the longer you wait, the darker it gets. And it also does say that if you wanted a darker shade than like the shade you wake up in the morning with, you can just apply another coat. But usually this is good for me. So it usually gets super dark by the time that I wake up in the morning. As you can see, I am now pretty tan. And my face will eventually get tan after a while as well. It's only going to get darker than this, but I can already see like a little glow. I love this so much, especially since it's like an affordable self-tanner. It's just even better. So that is basically what I do to tan. I feel like tanning is super easy, especially once you get the hang of it. Everybody likes different products. And that's just the products that I use. Okay, you guys. So that is going to be the end of today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm just going to relax for the rest of the night and just let my tan get more dark. And I'm just going to feel so good. Tanning makes you feel so good. Like it's insane how much tanner really changes a person, okay? If you guys are not already, please go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I upload twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays, so you guys do not want to miss out. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon.